In South Africa, the period when the body of Archbishop Desmond Tutu will lie in state at Cape Town's Anglican Cathedral has been extended until Friday. South African President Cyril Hamaposa has also announced that Tutu's Rakiam Mass on Saturday will be a special official funeral Category 1. Meanwhile, preparations for the funeral continue at St. George's Cathedral in Cape Town. It has been a day that has been anticipated, the passing of Archbishop Emeritus Desmond Impilo Tutu. It has been anticipated for about six years, and there was what the Archbishop Tabo called the Impilo Plan. So all the logistics that will lead up to what now will happen on, on Saturday, the Requiem Mass at 10. So this is his cathedral, and he embraced it as such. Um, throughout his term and beyond into his retirement years until about six years ago, if not four years ago, he would every Friday, with rare exception, preside and celebrate at the 715 Eucharist on a, on a Friday morning. It is a, a place that is richly imbued with his presence. Men in South Africa saw Archbishop Desmond Tutu as the country's moral conscience Nobel Prize winner Archbishop Tutu died last Sunday. He was 90 years old.